the reason why the farmer plowed the field because he wants to get something out of it. He wants to get something which we can eat. And the reason why he plowed the field, there is a purpose. Everything that happens in the world has a purpose. And everything that exists in the world has a purpose. In the same manner, the reason why we exist has a purpose. Most of the Christian world today lost the real side of purpose of life. The real purpose of our life is not to seek a career or to studies or to attain well. The real purpose of our life is not to seek all those things. We have to see beyond these things. And if you are able to see beyond these things, your studies, your career, your well and your family planning will become a part of your life, not the real purpose of life. Don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong studying. There is nothing wrong pursuing your career. There is nothing wrong attaining wealth and planning something for your family. The problem started only when you change your focus and lose sight of the real purpose of life. In Matthew 6, 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The real purpose of our life is to seek the first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And if we prioritize to seek the first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, your studies, your career, your well, and your family planning will, will be in God's hand. And you don't need to worry about it. Yes, my friends, when you decided to change the purpose, when you, when you decided to choose to seek the first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, you will face challenges. But remember, difficult road often lead to beautiful destination. So I urge and pledge with you to choose and prioritize the things which is important in your life, which will give you eternal life, the real purpose of your life, not the things which are just a part of your life. People often choose which is eternal. Indeed, by choosing to seek the first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, you will receive great eternal blessing that has been stored for you by the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you, my friend.